I want to talk about the zero DTE strategy that has been taking over the stock market. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Moomoo. Earnings season is upon us and Moomoo's earnings calendar can help you navigate through it. Moomoo's earnings calendar synchronizes financial reports and release schedules with a user-friendly interface. Access the earnings calendar by tapping on markets and then tap on today under earnings reports. This calendar allows you to check out the earnings schedule and access earnings conference calls. You can also check out the earnings hub, which provides detailed earnings information. And right now, all Australian users that sign up to Moomoo can receive 110 Australian dollars reward for opening your first account and depositing 100 Australian dollars. So check out Moomoo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Now let's get right into this video here. So let's first start on this article right here. So the title of this article is a potential stock market catastrophe in the making. The popularity of these risky option bets has Wall Street on edge. It's like picking up pennies in front of a steamroller. So let's take a look at what they are referring to. So professional and amateur traders are flocking to a risky type of equity option that some have likened to lottery tickets. They're known as options with zero days until expiration or zero DTE. So zero days till expiration. That's where this comes from. Now, basically, these are going to be contracts where an individual enters into this contract and that contract expires on the exact same day. Now, some on Wall Street are concerned that the growing popularity of zero DTEs is making US stock markets more volatile and more fragile as outsize daily swings in the largest, most liquid equity indexes like SPX becomes more frequent. So this has been growing in popularity a lot and we're gonna take a look here by how much. So during the first quarter of last year, Zero DTEs represented just 22.5% of the average daily trading volume in the S&P 500 options traded on the CBOE. By the end of the fourth quarter, that figure had risen to 44%. So almost 50% of the daily options traded for S&P 500 are zero DTEs. Again, contracts where an individual enters into that contract that contract expires the exact same day. And a representative for CME said the exchange plans to add more daily expirations this year. So keep in mind, right, right now on SPY, there's only two securities that have options expiring every single day. First one is going to be SPY, the other one would be QQQ. Now I'm not gonna go into QQQ, but we will be taking a look at SPY. And again, with this, it looks like, you know, they're going to be adding uh, more securities that have more daily expirations this year. Uh, my guess is IWM will be one of them and probably some more popular ETFs. Now, what is the problem with zero DTE? So for example, this would be zero DTEs right here because if I enter the, you know, these contracts here, they expire today. Right, and you can see that here, expiring today, zero days until it expires, zero DTEs. So these would be zero DTEs here. So the problem with this is since these options expire the same day, this means in essence, you are basically day trading. Statistics show us most day traders lose money. So immediately the odds are already against you. And one of the biggest things that's going to hurt you trading zero DTEs is theta decay or time decay, right? If I expand this uh, and we take a look under the Greeks, Greek, theta is one of the Greek. And basically this tells us how much the value of the option loses from time passing by. And so what you gotta remember about theta is theta increases the closer that you get to the expiration. So at expiration, theta is the highest that it's ever going to be. And so time is just eating away at the premium 
at the you know the value of the option the premiums and we can actually take a look at this here by going over to option strat and just taking a look at any random spy call so here we are on spy and again if we chose february 17th that would make all these options zero dtes so let's say we looked at like you know the 406 call so again we, we want to take a look at here right now spy is 40544 so here is 40540 so basically what the price of it is that you know if it is right now so again notice what's going to happen if spy just trades sideways if it doesn't go up doesn't go down it just trades sideways so right now it is 1120 so in one hour you would be down 26 bucks just from time passing by keep in mind you're you're paying 86 so in an hour you'd be down you know about 20 bucks or so so you know that's already about 25 percent of the you know how much you paid to enter a trade that's already a lot and in fact let me actually just switch this to profit and loss here right so basically again in in about an hour you know you'd be down 30 percent an hour from that, you'd be down 50%. An hour from that, you'd be down 80%. See how quickly you lose your money with zero DTEs? Again, because theta is extremely high. It's the highest it's going to be because theta increases the closer you get to expiration. These all expire today, right? So it's going to be the highest it's going to get. Therefore, if SPY is just trading sideways, it, you know, the value of that is going to diminish very, very quickly. Now, they're very, very risky that Robin on Robinhood, you actually have to enable a feature, a feature to allow you to do this. So let me actually show you this here. So on Robinhood, you actually have to go to your settings, uh, investing, and then under options trading, trade on expiration date. That needs to be on for you to be able to do this. That's how extremely risky it is. Robin doesn't let you do this by default. You have to actually enable this because again, it's very, very risky. Now, if it's very risky, why are people attracted to zero DTE? So let's continue this article here. So here we have a trader that runs a Twitter account dedicated to trading zero DTEs. So they told MarketWatch that it's this asymmetric risk that drew him to them. It's a trade where I can take very small risk for a very large reward. I wouldn't say the risk is small though. Uh, again, most day traders will lose money. There is a pretty big risk. But as you can see here, you can make a lot of money with SPY not moving that much. In fact, let's say SPY all of a sudden just moved 1% you would be making over a 300% profit, as you guys can see here, right? So the reward, there is a high reward if the stock moves in your direction. But again, it's just extremely risky in my opinion. I think there is high reward, but there's also a very high risk. Um, now let's take a look here at some examples of people that have uh, you know, traded zero DTs. And I think this, this, this part is actually pretty funny here. So in one post from mid February, a trader using the handle pizza and tendies shared a screenshot from their brokerage account. Uh, they showed they made 6,000 in just over an hour after betting about 3,500 on weekly puts on spy, uh, back in December, a user of the screen name live, learn, play shared a screenshot from Robin hood. They showed they made $100,000 in a single day using zero DTE puts on SPY. And then others have shared evidence of massive swings in the value of their portfolios trying to trade zero DTEs. So here's, here's where it's actually kind of funny. So MarketWatch reached out to both these accounts and dozen of others. And most never responded. One replied with a single ha ha ha. Another one demanded proof of credentials before going dark. So I just thought that was pretty funny there. So anyways, uh, potential risks uh, are, are showing up according to MarketWatch because of these zero DTEs. Let's just quickly read through what they say is going on here. So signs that trading and short dated options may be leading to more outsized intraday swing in markets. There is, you know, there's some signs here according to them. So one sign is that the S&P 500 recorded 122 
daily moves of 1% or greater in either direction last year, the most since 2008, and nearly double the 20-year average of 656 and that's so true. I remember last year, a lot of people, I think, quit trading, pause trading, or they were just very frustrated, myself included, you know, because you'd wake up and one day SPY would be up 2%, the next day SPY would be down 2%. There was just these pretty big, you know, swings very consistently. And that's because, again, you know, there was 122 daily moves of 1% or greater which is not common, it's not normal, right? It's double the 20 year average. And this trend has continued in 2023. S&P 500 has already seen 15 moves of 1% or more in either direction, the most for the start of a year since 2016. Uh, and then one memorable example happened on October 13th when trading in zero DTEs and other near expiry options helped trigger a historic intraday turnaround in US stocks. So on that day, the Dow fell almost 2% following the release of the September Consumer Price Index report. Then on no news, stocks rocketed higher. Uh, when the dust finally settled, uh, Dow finished the session up 3%, a historic intraday swing that uh, this individual said was exaggerated by a surge in buying of call options. People will sell calls and buy puts at the highs and then they'll flip that at the lows, creates a game of ping pong so let me know in the comment section below if you guys trade zero dtes have you seen success with them do you think that they are damaging the stock market let me know in the comment section below uh, check out the discord a link to it in the description below hope you enjoyed the video hope you'll have a great day and i'll see you guys next time